leaving the room untidy and a mess for several days will add up to require a lot of hard work and time and cleaning. That's why it is a better idea to clean your house every day than to leave it for the weekend. Welcome to Jensen's DIY, and here are 17 cleaning tips for a neat and tidy house. 1. There are a lot of health benefits that are attached with your house daily cleaning, rather than leaving it for a whole week untidy and a mess. Besides, if you do your daily cleaning duty instead of piling it up, you won't have the weekend misery and make the whole task more tedious. 2. The bed is the main part of your room. If it appears messy, the whole room will. Tuck your sheets and arrange your pillows. This is the least you can do before going to work or college. You can always look up the ways the beds are made to get you a better mood in the morning. 3. You should use a vacuum cleaner to clean the dust of the sofas, from the comforter if you have any, and probably from the floor as well. And then you can take out all the bed sheets that you have been piling up from the last week or so, including the latest sheets that you have used over the bed, and give them a thorough wash. 4. If you have a washing machine, then all is good, everything got sorted out. But if not, then you will have to use a nearby laundry service. But in both ways, it is a highly cost-effective process and wouldn't cost you anything out of the ordinary. 5. Emptying the dishwasher hardly takes 5 minutes. You can do that while you wait for your toaster to brown or while the coffee brews. Use the time to arrange all your utensils. This will avoid the dirty dishes from piling up every day. 6. Floor mats are a life savior if you have your children running in and out of the house all day. By keeping floor mats, you are preventing the need for mop cleanup. Keep floor mats on the bathroom door, kitchen door, and front door, and you will notice the results within a few days. The floor mats prevent the mud from the outside to travel all the way to your kitchen or other living spaces. 7. It is actually in your best interests that you do your laundry every day instead of stretching that schedule to over a week. If you are doing that, then you won't have to worry about the weekly laundry pileup. 8. Take the load of clothes and put them inside the washing machine, which you can do before going to work or take your kids to school. When you get home, take the washed clothes out and let them dry inside a dryer, and you have completed the task. 9. If you wish to stick with this incredible 15-minute nightly cleansing routine, then it will be a game-changer for you and your whole family. All you have to do is to assign everyone with a simple task of cleaning their rooms and the surroundings up to a 15-minute count. They can clean their own rooms or lend you a hand in cleaning other places, such as taking care of the kitchen or the dining area. 10. Create your own to-do list with the chores that create too much clutter and must be dealt right away. Be simple and sophisticated. Don't complicate things and you will get along just fine. 11. Clean kitchen floor before going to bed. You can use a multi-surface sweeper to clean the kitchen floor and it will take care of the dirt that creating a mess everywhere. Cleaning the kitchen floor before going to the bed will make you begin with a fresh start in the morning. 12. It is very important for you to wipe clean your counters after meal. Otherwise, the mess will look disturbing to your guests suddenly visit your house, right? 13. Keep all of your cleaning supplies stacked up in one place, as it would be easy to find them when you need them. You also won't have to struggle every time you need to find your broom or an all-purpose disinfectant. 14. In cleaning session, Everyone in your home must not leave the room without having an instant scan over the place. This is intended a very good habit, as you will be able to take a few things that doesn't belong in that room to their original places, which can help you to keep order in your house. 15. It's better if you didn't wait for a particular time or schedule to start cleaning, especially when you can do that on the go. If you are going to neglect it, the mess will pile up so much that it will start to wear on your nerves and become even lazier. 16. Always keep your clothes rack organized, and they should not be lying around making things messier and uneasy. Clothes can add a lot to your plate, which is why it is best to iron them and stack them whenever you have the chance. 17. Vacuuming your place more often to clean all of the dirt in your place. Select a particular time or create a schedule you can work up with and start vacuuming. After cleaning, your house will look brighter and cleaner, which can bring better mood throughout the rest of your day. 
And that's all for now. What do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comment section. For more cleaning ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.